In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I suspect to be the best passing concept in Madden 24. Now, uh, this is just based off of some general things that we've heard from the community uh, in terms of different formations and metas forming and all that stuff. Again, just 100% speculation here uh, and a hypothesis based off of Madden 23 and Madden 22, which are previous games we've played. I'm on Madden 23, but I'm gonna show you uh, the concept. It is out of the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. I actually did an entire ebook on the Cincinnati uh, Bengals playbook, and we're gonna be updating that ebook um, over the course of the next couple of weeks uh, to help you guys get ready for Madden 24 because I believe that the Cincinnati Bengals uh, playbook is going to be a really good playbook um, in Madden 24 or at least just some of the formations that we've known uh, are good and that formation is tight slots uh, halfback week which I believe to be probably the best offense over the last two or three years here um, and could potentially be the best offense next year so I wanted to go over one of my favorite passing concepts out of it and it is mesh spot now this is a passing concept um, and it is going to be manifested in this play mesh spot but you can apply the same principles uh, to any formation that you want any formation that you yourself are running so you always no matter what Madden you're playing you have to have the ability to consistently be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage ideally your man beaters will then be able to beat zone coverage and match coverage subsequently um, I believe one of the best offensive Matt I think uh, probably the best offensive man player ever um, is skimbo especially in Madden 17 18 19 and probably even 20 um, and one of the things that he said uh, when talking about creating an offensive scheme is you have to have man beaters and then you have to take those man beaters and you have to turn them into zone beaters. That's what we're going to do with this play best spot. So what is the best route on the, on, the, on the play? Well, there's really two specific routes that are really good. This wheel route to the running back, but the route we're going to focus in on today is this post route to Jimmy Smith. Now, if I was to audible over here to the play flood, you're going to see a little bit of a different uh, a little bit of a different post route from Randy Moss over here on the left side. It's more of a skinny post, a little bit more of what I would call a zone beating post, okay? Um, mesh spot is a little bit more man-to-man -man focused. Why? Because the cut is going to be a little sharper than it would be otherwise. So what we're going to do is we're going to smart route this route, especially in any kind of first and 10 situation or really uh, from about first and 10 or any five yard, five yards to 10 yards, you want to smart route it. If it's over five, if it's under five yards, maybe not. If it's over 10 yards, maybe not. But at that five to 10 yard range, feel free to smart route the route. And then we're going to piece together a route combo off of this. So what I like to do with this specific passing play is we're going to utilize the slant post concept and turn this into essentially a shallow cross. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak that left side receiver. What that streak is going to do is it's going to run off all of the zones on that left side of the field, especially if we are on the left hash mark on the field. Remember that in Madden 23, EA implemented drift logic to try to make outside thirds and outside quarters play a little bit better. And what ended up happening was essentially if you flood to the short side of the field, that those quarters and those thirds have to respect that clear out streak on the short side of the field. If it was to the wide side of the field, so example, if we flipped this play and ran it to the right, it wouldn't be as good against zone. So we've got that clear out streak. The next thing that we want to be able to do is we want to be able to uh, have an option in case the user decides, hey, I'm going to go guard the post route. So what we want to do then is we're going to put a slant route to our slot receiver. Now, this is the great thing about slant post concepts. I've talked about this at depth on the channel. If you want to leave him on a drag, that's fine. Okay, You can leave him on a drag if you want to leave him on a drag. And then with the tight end, um, the tight end is actually extremely versatile. It's honestly up to you. You can leave him on the drag route that he's on. You can put him on an out route. You can put him on a flat route, which I think is pretty good. Um, just a simple basic flat route is fine. You could even honestly just block him. Okay, he's not, you don't want him to run into the slant and that's where like that five yard out route. If they're running man consistently, then yeah, put him on an out route. But if they're running zone, you might want to put him on this flat and then with the running back, what I like to do is just block and release the running back to the flat or put him on an out route 
or if you really want to, you can put him on an option route. Again, you could block either the running back or the tight end if you want additional protection. So sometimes what I'll do is just block the tight end and keep the spacing a little bit cleaner, okay? So what you're gonna see now is this post route does exactly what we wanna show you. It just absolutely brutally destroys man-to-man -man coverage. You put short and elite on this route, um, it's going to win against man coverage probably about 90 to 100% of the time. What you're gonna see right here, he's gonna kick that cut inside. I'm gonna freeform that to the space, and then we're gonna basically be able to cook man coverage every single time. Now, a couple of things. Um, so there's two other defenses that I wanna show this against, uh, specific, that's, that route specifically against, it's man and zone. So if, let's say for example, or a match and zone, so if they run match coverage, watch what happens, you'll see that clear out streak's gonna take two defenders with him, and so now you've got a shot. Now, as you can see right there, they have KOs. So if they do have a KO ability, one of the things that I like to do, specifically if I'm playing someone and they certainly do have a KO ability, is we're gonna send five out. If they're in a match, chances are they're not gonna blitz you out of it. And then we're gonna freeform that to the left and we're just gonna possession catch it. We're basically trying to create a dive catch animation. If we can't do that, then the other thing that you can do is you can basically um, you can basically like cut the route off a little bit better. So you see right here, kind of come back to the ball, and you see how we get that little dive down animation. Now I also wanted to show this against zone. So to do this, I wanted to set some standard zone drops that you might see if you're in this formation, and that's going to be the five yard curl flat or ten yard curl flat, um, and then it's typically going to be five um, or zero, honestly. And then you're probably going to get 25 to 30. For sake of time, I'm going to show this with a 30-yard cloud. And this is one of the really, I think, the best things about this play. So let's say, for example, that your opponent is going to run some double Mabel concepts to try to basically eliminate your ability to throw the flood corner route, which is the best corner route in the game. Um, then what you're going to be able to do is go to a play like this. And what you'll notice is this post route runs so sharp and deep that it is not going to be able to be defended by the uh, the thirty yard cloud flat. Now again, I have you know zone knockouts everywhere, literally everywhere on the field. So you can get KO'd. Um, I will say you can get KO'd, but if you click on and user catch this, it's typically fine. So we're just going to freeform it over that cloud flat into that space. You see there we got KO'd. That can happen. Um, the other thing that I could have done is I can throw that before it gets to that point. Um, that's kind of the name of the game in Madden 23. It's yet to be seen if this is going to be the same in Madden 24. Um, if there's not KOs in Madden 24, it's going to make it a lot easier on us. But like right here, I'm going to ag and then try to basically avoid the KOs as much as I can. I'm not getting it for whatever reason, but the idea uh, is basically the same that if they're going to run any zone and we'll talk about cover three and cover four in just a second but if they're going to run any zone coverage that route's going to be open uh, and you can throw that kind of in that little window again i'm going to get away from him that's kind of more of the idea in terms of throwing that in windows and essentially ag catching to avoid a knockout so they have to user the route so for them to user the route it's going to look something like this and then again just in, in, understanding their user is is the is the linebacker here so what you're going to see on this is it's going to leave this little pocket over on the right at about a 15 yard depth where we're going to be able to hit that slant and there's just so much space to be able to hit the slant route now the other type of zone coverage you're going to get is cover four cover three and just for the sake of the video we're going to baseline and press it to try to give that that um that um, cover for the best chance to be able to basically defend this. So again, set it up exactly the same. The user is now going to sit on that slant because you're going to trust that quarter. You're going to ag, and you're going to basically again when you ag it, you're clicking on, you're hitting Y, and you're turning your receiver so that he comes back to the ball. Um, that is super super important, okay? Because that's going to help you avoid the KOs. Also, real quick. Let's say, uh, so again, it beats 30 yard clouds, but also beats the cover four. And if you want to, you can throw this over in this area. Again, you see how I'm agging it and then turning the receiver so that he does not get KO'd. This concept is probably a top two or three play in Madden 23. 
and I'm just speculating here, but I think this is going to be one of the best plays. Again, a top, I'm suspecting this will continue to be a top five passing play in Madden 24. If you guys want to learn the entire offense, join the Patreon today for just $10. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video and head down to the description and go get in the Patreon so you can get access to all of our eBooks uh, in preparation for Madden 24.